All right, that bucket is finally empty. Yay. That boot box is finally empty. And all of the coins slash quarters are done. This is what we got. Welcome to part number two. Not too shabby. Of course, that was quite a few, uh, quite a few coins we went through. Anywho, so we got one right chair that's pretty nice, nicely clashed. 1998 Philadelphia. With a little bit of what would be George Washington's mouth showing up right there above the arrows. Again, a clashed uh, coin is where there is no planchet that's loaded in between the two dies, the hammer and the anvil die, before they strike and they clash each other, leaving uh, kind of like a ghost image, an imprint of each other on uh, the opposing die. And then after that, every coin from there on is struck with that little image. So you got that little bit right there. Should be Washington's mouth, as I said before. Uh, I think that's the only place where you can see the coin has been clashed. Uh, it, they, chances are, if the mint worker catches that, they're going to polish the die, which is why you get a lot of those struck through grease uh, errors as well, if they don't get all of the grease off of the dies before they strike some more coins. But this one doesn't look like it's been polished. It's, it could be that it was maybe not caught. Uh, it doesn't look like it was clashed very hard. It's strange that it's only one area. But could also be that we just don't see the places where the mint worker had polished the dies. And the obverse, from what I can see, doesn't really show any clashing. Shows some weird metal flow just because it's an older die. But yeah. Not a bad little clash right there. Couple of foreign coins. United Arab Emirates. First time we've ever gotten anything from them. Canada. Pretty cool. 2008. Bobsled team on the reverse. All about the Olympics. Sorry, 2010. I knew that. Heh. <laughs> really nice struck through North Dakota. Actually, it's probably more like a filled die, I suppose you'd call it, but kind of the same idea. Alright. As you could see, definitely struck through some grease slash filled die. And of course, filled die is pretty much the exact same concept as struck through grease. It's just the grease is inside of the uh, devices of the die. So it doesn't allow the metal to flow into all those devices like the sun and the back of the buffalo and a lot of the detail of the buffalo like it's supposed to and leaves this kind of mushy looking image but this one's quite aggressive nice to find 2017 these are all struck through by the way weir farm struck through another weir farm struck through so we're actually starting to find a, a decent amount of Weir Farm that are struck through grease. Kind of strange. Just may, might be the design or who knows. Montana. And then we got some decent mint states. Got a nice Utah mint state. Really nice Massachusetts mint state. Great Basin. And then a 2019... River of No Return, Denver. Fortunately, not a W, but still nice mint state. Then we got a bunch of the 2020s in mint state. And again, if we can find decent examples of these, we always keep them because don't know what the mintages are going to be for these guys. Everything going on, they could certainly be a low mint state. Salt River Bay. Quite a few of those. Not as many, though, as we found of the Weir Farm. Come on, you can focus. There we go. I guess I was just getting too close or something. I don't know. The planned obsolescence of my phone is definitely starting to kick in with every single update. It gets a little bit, uh, a little bit dumber. 
Alright. But you get the idea. Med State Weir Farm. Oh, now it decides to focus. There we go. Okay. Then we have some nice 2009s. Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands. Really nice Virgin Islands. Puerto Rico. And although we don't typically keep the 2009s if they're in worse condition than about uncirculated, we kept this guy because... It has what appears to be some dye chips in the uh, P mint mark there for Philadelphia. Kind of interesting, kind of different. Um, yeah, we don't see a lot of dye chips like that in uh, in 2009s. I think we have one other one where we found some dye chips on it, and it was on the reverse. Gwam. And then we actually found two spitting horses. This one a little bit better. This one's not quite what I guess you'd call uh, picture perfect as in. In other words, if you look at picture references of what would be a spitting horse, it's not quite what they would consider a spitting horse, but there is definitely a die crack coming off of it. This one's more like the actual uh, examples of a spitting horse. But either way, die cracks. Whatever you want to call them. Spitting horse, die crack. The horse is spitting, so whatever. And this one's more like a sneezing horse, I guess? I don't know. Something like that. But the die crack is just above the horse's mouth. Kind of going through the top of the seat in Caesar Rodney. Let's see if I can get a good... Oh, there we go. Yeah, the light hits it good there. Yeah, it's kind of like... Uh right there below the nose and above the mouth of the horse. So I guess it's not technically a spitting horse, but either way you look at it, it's kind of a cool die crack. And what would Quarter Hunt be without an extra claw? Ta-da! Extra claw. How odd. Then we got some oddities. We got a San Francisco business strike. Again, these are only available in bags and rolls directly from the mint. So somebody broke them out and had to spend them or wanted to spend them or whatever. 2016 Harper's Ferry. So that's cool. We don't have any of those yet in the uh, the S mint mark. And really, well, at one point, decent Arizona 2008 San Francisco proof coin. Not as pretty as she used to be, but... A little bit of the uh, once glory is still there. Circulated or not, still neat to find a proof coin. She's definitely seen better days. Still a little bit of that mirror showing up. But. Definite signs of abuse. Then we're getting to the good stuff. 1964, we got silver. Denver. Not in bad shape, actually. Not mint state. Not even about uncirculated. But... Certainly not hammered. Didn't start life out as the best strike either. But definitely better than we've seen, that's for sure. And then a 1953. San Francisco. Yeah. Not pretty, but still silver. Lots and lots and lots of dye wear, as we can see by the odd metal flow. The little striations coming off of the devices, like the back of Washington's head there and his ponytail. Older dyes, but that's okay. And I always love to see that S mint mark. Especially on the older coins. 90% silver. Can't go wrong with that. 
And then of course we've got these three guys down here. And if you guys have been watching our videos for a while now, you know that these, since they're towards the end, are going to be West Point Strikes. This one's got something a little bit special going on with it, so we'll take a look at that. Got a little bit of the strike doubling right there. Again, not true doubling. It's also known as machine doubling. But right there below, or I should say, I guess, on the bottom of the hair, bottom of the ear, you can see a little bit of the machine doubling. And then there is also, let's see, a little bit maybe there on the Y in Liberty. Of course, there's that awesome W. There's also a little bit of the machine doubling under his neck, above the Y right there. So a little bit different. Wouldn't say it necessarily adds value to it. Again, some people collect the uh, the strike doubling, the machine doubling, but not definitely not a true error. It's like there might be a little bit above her hand there and her arm as well. But either way, it's a dub. And of course, another American Memorial Park. West Point. And again, as we've said in previous videos, uh, we got quite a few of these American Memorial Park West Points. Not that we're complaining. But we've also got River of Note of Turn. Mm, last but not least, not too pretty. But it is River of No Return. We have not found many of these. I think this is the third, maybe the third one that we've found. River of No Return with the West Point uh, mint mark on it. So yeah, not too bad. As you guys can see, uh, incredibly productive hunt. A uh, very long hunt. I mean, it, it pretty much took us several days of quote-unquote free time to uh, be able to go through everything, but uh, quite successful. We're happy with it anyways. And it was different. It wasn't just us opening up, a, you know, breaking a, a bank box or going and getting circulated rolls from, you know, customer wraps from the bank or whatever. It was something different. So we, uh, we highly enjoyed it and hope that uh, you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Again, it is the best way to support the channel. Tick the bell if you want to know every time we upload some brand new content. Uh, throw this uh, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, until next time, guys. Love you all. God bless. And we'll see you soon. Stay safe out there. Good luck on your hunts.